What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off our last time, uh, we've expanded into the Southern Balkans and we've taken Patras and we've taken Athens. The Ottomans are responding in force and that was part of the position I had to bring more, to bring this army that was originally going to attack Vienna south because Poland declared war on us and I feel more comfortable having a combined front with my strongest forces. Venice is finally about college. Don't waste your time on wedge formation. Instead, go on to sextant to increase movement range. And you, actually, I should be building a. Yep, building a great arsenal in Venice. I've got another unit for a garrison there. Um, Poland declared war on us, which kind of sucked. <laughs> It's nothing we can't handle. It was part of the reason why I didn't want to attack Venice, because it would open me up to potential attacks from Poland. And I didn't want one army, one of my two armies, stranded, um, surrounded by enemy forces and with a very weak supporting line. And unfortunately, I don't have any rakes to assassinate those guys. Or I don't want to risk my gentlemen to duel them either. Should let them carry on doing what they're doing. Um, right now they're in trouble because I'm soon going to break their back in the Balkans. And then we're going to push on and hit Ankara. And then it will be on to um, Cairo. Soon they'll be asking us for peace. They just will. But we're not going to let them have it because they've been so detrimental to this entire campaign for so long. We're not going to let them off the leash. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep slaughtering them. And we're going to show them what happens when they mess with the Italian states. They get the Roman Emperor. Could put a drill school. I don't really need these cool units yet. More income. Think, especially in Naples or the governor's house to get the extra 3% bonus in tax income because you already give me quite a lot. Although it's probably also good to start growing other regions including upgrading this into a seminary to try and generate more Protestant uh, more Catholic missionaries. And we're actually starting to get religious happiness bizarrely even though we're only 14% of the population. Continue growing your garrison. We have howitzers. We have howitzers. Delicious. So you stop doing crop rotation. Get on to carcass shot. And once you've done sextant, you can probably go on to separation of powers. Commissioner Achille de Tony. I think that was his name. This guy. Yep, he's the right guy for the right spot at the moment. I don't find someone who's good at, good at managing, or good at being the head of government, but I don't think I've got anyone who's that startling. Now they're all four base. He's four base, and he has a confidential secretary that doesn't impact his role at all. Okie dokie. Yeah, they're more than welcome to raid got other things to spend cash on where the hell is he going I sent him to go down towards Serbia but he seems to be going in towards oh, the central Balkans not where I was going at all hell he's gone that way so far maybe I might just send him to Istanbul <laughs> He's already over there. That means my army currently in Athens will push up and they'll take Serbia and Croatia and all those goodies. And I will need to recruit a couple of smaller armies to just act as sweepers because right now we're going to have 
lots of mountains and lots of good places for regular forces to run around to dodge, to, to dodge our armies and cause mischief. I suppose he's just trying to navigate his way around control zones, but that's that's pretty frustrating, especially now he's yeah. Come over here, just go around, Sophia. Don't care about Bulgaria; it's currently shrinking. Yeah, you may as well take Istanbul. Control the Strait. You may as well. If he's over here, there's no point sending him back to go and attack these weaker weaker regions. So let's bring this army out. Let's recruit some fusiliers in Athens. Also want to drop roads in Naples. Yep, Florence is upgraded. Verona, you probably want to do something simple like Longitude Watch. No, actually you're going to do these, aren't you? That's what you were going to do. Separation of powers in seven turns. So we've got the sextant. And we can also recruit, because if we've built the new dock, we can recruit fourth rate ships of the line. Unless we build this vineyard. Awesome. Might put a light galley just in case we need some emergency naval movement. Over to the east. Ah, that makes sense. So the attack on Istanbul is a bust. So right now I want them to drive south to be near the sea in case I need to make them um, in case I need to get them aboard ship. Because I want to push my army to the south out to go and engage uh, the Ottoman force to the west, to the northwest of Athens, in order to utterly destroy them. Yeah, because right now they get a full garrison, and they've got a bunch of troops next to them. So I'm probably going to want to go good to Thessaloniki, occupy their port. I probably want to move you guys around this way, although you could just now go that way. Got 5,000. Let's build a fourth rate. And let's upgrade a government building in Naples. I could still upgrade you to the Imperial Palace, but it'll take time. Let's just take my navy. My navy. Stay in Paris, I suppose. Let's also try peace and trade. Do you want Lombardy? No. But we'll give you Division of Labour. No. No territories. What about the Dutch? I wish I could trade with the Dutch. Hmm. Okay, making as much cash as I can currently make. So then it's only 5,000 a turn. So those Enlightenment technologies are going to be... Well, they're going to remain cru critical for me for a long time. It's going to be a while before I can actually get a reasonable fleet out to the trade theatres. Because the problem is, if you send a handful of ships 
against hard AI, they will probably just destroy them. Because the AI usually has lots of ships in the trade theatres. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> You're about to get stuck, matey boy. I'm going to engage you, drive you north. And then our armies will follow. I would still like to recruit a small army to go and take Cairo, just because I like invading Cairo. In fact, in Rome, that was normally what I would do. When I would take, when I, when I would be attacking Thessalonica and Larissa and Athens and all that, I'd start to recruit a small army and send it over and to take Alexandria and though that three, that line of three um, Egyptian cities, and then I would form a big defensive line and just have lots of fun battles, destroying stack after stack after stack of Egyptian troops. So it looks like the Dutch are blockading the Barbary States, but it looks like, they, in reality, they actually aren't. Signore. Can spend some dough. What the Weaver's Cottage yet? That's an expensive upgrade. To be honest, there's not a lot of many cheap upgrades we can realistically get. We need to get a gunner school. To be honest, investing in industry is never a bad idea. See, because you're very poor, but you're wealthy, so you're better off to spend money there. In terms of ret in terms of uh, return on investment, that is. Build an opera house. Just to keep them happy. Let's okay. take Raphael, John of And let's take out an Ottoman army. A cash? Because now I've not really got um, money to reinforce. But I've got two strong armies right next to each other, so it's not. Lovely position. Play our artillery behind us, because their main job will be counter battery. Form a giant long defensive line. So, some flank battalions, let's put our grenadiers on the left. General centre, cavalry to support. Pikes in the centre, cavalry to support, general in the centre. running. Didn't mean you to run. To be honest, I may even change the target of most of my artillery. Okay, you guys might want to run. That cavalry is coming in. to be seen if they're actually going to if they're actually going to attack me or if they're going to skirmish me. Ah, attack me it is. Oh no. Found you near the Raz out on the flank. Let's run them down with my regiment of horse. Get my 
cavalry in, you guys form square, and you guys Going to take out that Zilandari unit. Some Bashi Bazooks, but they're going to walk into the gun line of my Grenadiers and suffer a right old mischief. Actually, you guys can probably do with falling back, considering there are Bashi Bazooks coming. because they've come they're coming back these guys push the left wing in fact you guys should instead push up let's pick new targets They're probably the target's probably pretty good. There you go, make sure they shatter. There we go. Come on, let's present. Execute that officer. Too bad they didn't kill him. Blow my cavalry to hit the Israelis. Lots of cavalry on this flank, but they're not fighting against my grenadiers. Stay back. Actually, you guys come over here to help try to kill the Orta. You guys charge the Serenis. Everyone else is currently firing at. Bashi Bazooks and the Zandari Horsemen. Artillery focus fire that many of horsemen. You guys march this way to act as a bit of a oh, I had to run past run through the accessories. You guys involved in this scrum also with cavalry that's about to show up Let's pull the regiment of horse back to go after these bashy bazooks take them out Cavalry, if you can escape, try kill the infantry. So the only guys left are these Israelis on the flank. They are winning slightly, supposedly. Speed up a little bit of time. Relieve 
release this cavalry unit to go chase down Janissaries. Let's hold the artillery fire. Good stuff. Actually, yeah, go after these troops first. Do you want to kill their cannons? But they're routing as a formation, so they're very safe. Actually, I might just shoot at them with my artillery. Escape, so go after that unit of Grand Janissaries. Okay, the artillery is destroyed. So the only unit left is these guys. Although they are going to escape. Oh, they might not. Nope, don't think they did. <laughs> Delicious. 600 Italians lost for almost 2,500 Turks. Ruppe, avanti. You plenish and possible, push up. And that leaves you guys exposed for them to develop, to deploy Kudugra. Beautiful. Let's raid the trade from the port, although it's not going to be very much because we've now just ruined it. But there we go, you guys push up and you march onwards towards central, the central Balkans. Sweet. Now we do have Fusiliers, so let's do a bit of recruiting like this. Just make these guys top up as many units as we can. Combine you guys. You're provincial. You're the provincial line, aren't you? You guys pull back. Let's fold in Avanti. some fusiliers. Good. And then you guys continue your march. You guys be ready to push east. Or do I send them both east to make sure we take it? Because once we take it, it will be a simple job to hop over the straits and hit Ankara, which would really break their back, because Ankara is their main seat of power. Well, their main source of income, I'd say. In modern times, it's their seat of power, but... But I wouldn't be stupid. I wouldn't be surprised. There we go. <laughs> yes, I think... The end of the Ottomans are nigh. And then soon we will be pushing into Central Europe. Because we do have the Poles are against us. Well, this is a world dumb, so... I'm going to treat... You know, I, I like world dominations, really. So I think I've been a bit silly in cutting some of my campaigns short. Uh, mainly because I also think you guys quite like seeing the advanced... Because everyone can play the mid game, and early in mid game, everyone plays that, but no, not many people play the the campaign out to its end. So I think I might just start making a general stance of just doing all my campaigns as being world dominations. Hey, a, fourth, a first fourth rate ship of the line. Retendo en monto, and you will become my general. Eduardo Setti. Awesome. So, firstly. You guys are replenished. You guys replenish and you guys replenish. 
So if I send both my armies to Istanbul, I think I should be okay. Cause I could I could easily redeploy them back to Greece if I needed to. It's probably a good idea. So what's the furthest you can march here? So I want to keep these armies together in the event that we are intercepted. Okay, so let's upgrade. Firstly, let's see what upgrades we can do in Italy. Let's upgrade Milan to have a governor's mansion. We do have ports we can still upgrade. We have roads we can still upgrade. I'm already impaired. I think it was him. Yep, minus one to management. So now it's time to find someone else. So I'm going to pick this guy. His bonus is... His bonuses don't specifically help for um, the head of government, but he does have a plus one management trait, and he also has a plus one manage plus one happiness for lower classes. So let's do that. Okay, current policies are still just flat, so I think I'm going to keep them where they are. Our towns are growing f fairly well. One more turn to carcass shot. Sweet. No more nations we can trade with, sadly. But we're going to march two armies on to Istanbul. Ooh, see, this is this is about time where the French decide they want to play again. <laughs> so you need to grow, keep growing my. They they demand this of me. No. Okay. Ooh. So I might need to redeploy one of my forces back towards Greece. Because I don't really have a garrison there. I've got a couple, of, a couple of units and a cavalry unit. That's not a garrison. I would want to ship them back to Athens so that when, when I fight them they retreat northward. They don't get pushed west into the hills where they can attack and raid my towns. But let's see. Classic Barbary State. So that's Carcass Shop. The main reason I want Carcass Shop is so I can. Oh, I need organised procurement. Okay, you start working down this route. Could probably do a get the Imperial Palace. Increase my research rate of industrial tax. Money is so important continuously. Okay, so let's take. Actually, these guys can they can intercept them or get ahead of them with some movement left. You guys continue to raid your way towards the Ottomans and to hopefully draw draw an army out. Although this is lots of chaff, we could siege them and it would be a big defensive battle, but we could probably do it. I want to build some... Oh, I can't build any here. If I build this, I can. But I want to build... I want to keep going with this economy upgrading malarkey. Probably build some in Venice and ship them down there. And let's keep upgrading our towns and our industry. Industry? <laughs> industry. Doesn't sound weird at all. Okay, you guys are still replenishing. Okie dokie. Let's hit enter and let's see what happens.
Because by the looks of it, we're going to end up with a couple of big Ottoman battles in our hands. And ultimately, if we win them both... Oh, I forgot about the French. They were coming back. Yeah, they ran around. Yeah, we can do that as well as they can. So now may be time to start re start expanding my Turin garrison. The French might be getting back. Which we will need to rebuff. Rebuff at the end of a pointy bayonet. So I can rebuild I can build some I can build elite infantry and I can build some howitzers. Because howitzers are pretty good, both in, fort in fortifications and on in and in the field. Foot artillery seems is less useful in fortifications. You might want two, maybe, um, in order to provide some canister shot coverage into some parts of the into some breaches. But howitzers are just generally useful. That and their high trajectory means that you can position them quite freely without having to worry about lines of sight and fields of fire and you just drop them down and they do work because they've raided Nice with some elite infantry and the Lan Lancer Guard unit these houses are being repurposed <laughs> for the garrison at Turin Probably going to build two marines to go over there and join them, in addition to their own additional two units of infantry. So we've got three thousand to spend. And it looks like growing Genoa, growing Genoa might be the best option. Maybe even not spending it at all. Because we want to go here. Join up some infantry. And go hit this guy. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of yet another Ottoman stack. Cheers, everyone.